Hey you guys, happy Saturday. If you are new to this channel, my name is Lynn. And if you haven't already seen my updated 24 weeks pregnancy vlog and kind of like a update on me and Chris's life as of right now, make sure you go check it out down below. And if you are new, make sure you subscribe to our channel. It's that red button down below. Make sure you go click that. And also make sure you give us a thumbs up. So this morning, it is Saturday, I wanted to basically doll myself up. I don't have any real or any like busy plans or anything today. Um, I do know Timo, my oldest corgi. He has a grooming appointment later today, but other than that, I don't really have any other plans, but I wanted to just upload a quick little vlog, you know, of what I do today. I will be doing my makeup i'm gonna put my makeup on because i know i look a little off and different but you're gonna see timo <laughs> and i will be recording me doing my makeup i don't think i'm gonna do very much of talking in the video i'm just gonna do a little quick how i do my daily makeup type deal um i don't put makeup on on a daily technically but it's just because i don't know i don't really need to or i try not to put too much makeup on because if I do, this face is gonna break out like crazy. And the fact that I'm pregnant, I don't know about all that. <laughs> so stay tuned and keep on watching. Hey guys, so makeup is done and I am about to go get some lunch because it is 12.29 or 12.30. Uh, me and baby girl are hungry. Uh, we do have some leftovers in the refrigerator but kind of not really craving it but I don't know, I'm kind of debating, do I want Chick-fil-A or McDonald's or just something quick to eat because at two o'clock, uh, Timo has a PetSmart grooming appointment that I'm gonna have to take him to or drop him off. And then afterwards, um, I'm gonna have to shower Taro by myself at home instead of taking him to the groomers because uh, Timo needs to get his nails trimmed and a lot more like stuff than Taro needs done and 
Uh, you know that Brianna, my little baby cousin, or my little cousin, she graduated from high school recently, and so I do wanna say congratulations to her. And I know her party's today, but it's back in Texas, so unfortunately I couldn't go. Um, I wish I could have been there, but I had already texted her way earlier and stuff to tell her that I'm really proud of her and that can't wait to see her pretty soon. So decided that we are stopping at Starbucks real quick. Just cause since it's so hot and sunny outside, we're gonna probably get a pink drink. I usually get the tall pink drink. Usually, um, I used to get like really, really like a venti size, but I, I had actually, I didn't think they would have caffeine in it, but it did. And whenever I would get venti, I would get really hyped up. And I always wondered why, but it's because they have caffeine in it. But yeah, usually I would get my, either the pink drink because I'm pregnant. You know, I just try to get like a little bit of something sweet. I either get the pink drink or I get the uh, hot chocolate with caramel drizzle on top. But I was, I don't know, I wasn't really craving the hot chocolate today. So I'm gonna, first time really vlogging in the car. So I'm trying to make sure you don't fall. But, cause I'm not a professional and I don't have a, yeah, I don't have a holder for the car yet as of right now. Still trying to figure that out to see if I'm actually gonna be vlogging in the car a lot more, but let me pay for my pink drink. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. There you go. Oh, thank you. There you go. Oh. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Careful if the top is wet. Oh, it's okay. Thank you. Okay, random question. Should I get McDonald's or should I get Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A. Okay. Thank you. Well, it's been decided for me. I'm gonna go get Chick-fil-A. Drink a little bit of it. They filled it up to the top, so it's kind of leaking out a little bit. Okay. Here's the pink drink. Light ice. It's just so I can get more out of it. <laughs> That's why I say light ice. So I am in line for Chick-fil-A. And you, if you love Chick-fil-A, you already know how Chick-fil-A rolls. And it is one o'clock as of right now. And you know, lunch time is always packed. Hi. How are you? Good, good. Um, can I have the spicy chicken sandwich meal, please? Right, the regular or the Um, the regular. And for your beverage? Uh, I will have a lemonade, please. All right. And I think that will be all for me. Any sauces? Uh, can I have Polynesian, please? All right, it's from 754. Will you be scanning your mobile app today? Uh, yes, that will be. I'll scan that for you. I like your dress, by the way. It's very cute. Thank cute-ish. you. Forever 21. Oh, my goodness, yes. I will definitely look at it. Alrighty, so Ben's going to take your payment. He's right up ahead. It'll be 754. Okay, thank you. Yes, I love Chick-fil-A. They are so sweet, so cute. They always be making my day, especially giving me food. <laughs> and um, I do have the Chick-fil-A app. Not sponsored, but... You get a good amount of points whenever you get them to scan it. And then after you pay, then they'll give you the points. I just started downloading the app, or I just started using the app. I don't go Chick-fil-A on a regular. I go maybe like once a week or once every two weeks or so. So I am home with my boys. Hello, Timo. Hello, baby. Maybe <laughs> that little tail. Okay, so I am home. About to eat this Chick-fil-A in here that I just ordered. Um, but I have my pink drink and the lemonade also. But I wanted to show y'all a... <laughs> you so happy. If you see that spillage right there, I accidentally spilled the lemonade. But I wanted to show y'all a update of my belly, of Everly. See how she's doing before I start eating and forget to vlog. <laughs> 
So back to the mirror again. So this dress is from Forever 21. It I loved this dress because it's the periwinkle color and I don't think I have any dresses that have this or that is this color, but of course my happy boys are happy to see me. The guitar on the background. But yeah, here's a belly update. She's getting bigger and bigger every day, which I'm blessed. <laughs> The boys are waiting for me to feed them, or at least give them a fry or, or two, <laughs> a towel. Make sure you stay tuned, and uh, yeah, I will record me eating Chick-fil-A, but it's almost, I'm acting like I have a watch. It's almost time for me to have to take Timo to PetSmart, so I need to hurry up and eat, digest, pee, <laughs> because when you're pregnant, you're always peeing like every five minutes, every ten minutes. So it's a good thing it's Saturday and all of that, but uh, my boys are happy. I'm happy. We are all doing great. Everly's doing great. Big old belly. But yeah, she's hungry. I gotta feed her. All right, you guys, see you in a little bit. I am currently digesting the Chick-fil-A that I just devoured. <laughs> so on my 24 week doctor appointment, which was Thursday, this past Thursday. I did recently do a DNA testing or genetics testing. I had to do the part two of it because they're supposed to pull my blood. I think the first one is from like before 12 weeks pregnancy and then the second pull they're supposed to do before 24 weeks, which I did do before 24 weeks and the doctor appointment she my doctor told me that all the results came back normal nothing abnormal nothing so she's a healthy baby everly she is a great and so come to find out i weighed myself there at the doctor appointment and i was 121.4 pounds and when i had found out i was pregnant i was about 107 108 that's what um, they have on my files. So far, I gained about 13 pounds, which is a healthy weight. That's what my doctor says. And she also says that um, from the start or from the beginning of 28 weeks, um, I shouldn't be more than 125, 126 for my height and weight type situation which I'm pretty sure I can maintain that just because I really don't eat a lot a lot I try not to use the pregnancy card when Chris was home I did use the pregnancy card as in like I would blame Everly saying that she's craving this craving that like I should eat all of this blah 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 <laughs> and so um, I am at a healthy weight as of right now which is good because I really was kind of hoping I wasn't growing too fast or having less weight than I'm supposed to because I want her to be at a healthy weight. She said that we won't be doing another ultrasound <clears throat> to visually see her till 36 weeks or so just to see if her head is gonna be down and you know getting ready for delivery. And so, but we did check on her heart rate, which I think at every visit we will be checking up on that and so she was her heart rate was in the 150s which is normal and which is good for baby girl none of y'all really know but my due to my family history of diabetes like my mom she has diabetes and i think my little brother has diabetes and um my oldest uncle has diabetes and um he's so when i told my and my grandpa that um, my grandpa, he passed away. He had diabetes as well. For my 20 weeks, yeah, I think before 20 weeks, I actually did go through the one hour glucose test and it was kind of uh, elevated a little bit, but I think it's because I didn't fast beforehand, but that's because I had ate breakfast that morning, but I didn't think it would affect the one hour glucose test. And so when my doctor had called me to tell me that it was elevated, then I had to go for the three hour glucose test way before I was supposed to. And I won't be 28 weeks until June 17th week. 
And even though I did pass the other glucose test or the three hour glucose test, the other one she wants to make sure for when I'm 28 weeks, which I don't mind as long um, baby girl is healthy and you know, it's a sacrifice that I'm willing to do. Even though it sucks butt because you're like starving, you're hungry and the only thing you can have is water. And it's like, you can't even, yeah, it's, it's torturing. But like I said, as long as she's healthy. So I do want to tell y'all, by the way, I just ordered a big order from Fashion Nova. Not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. Um, yeah, I did place an order with Fashion Nova recently. I think, yeah, yesterday. And they just shipped it today. And so I'm like super excited to get that because me and my girls haven't went shopping in a good while. So I wanted to ask y'all if y'all would like to see a Fashion Nova haul. Please like the video or comment down below if you're willing to watch it. You know, just comfortable dresses for anybody else who are pregnant or is, you know, just wondering uh, what type of style I do wear. I am ready to get that haul because I've been wanting to do a fashion haul for the longest just because I kind of want to see how I would look like being 25 weeks pregnant and wearing these outfits which most of them are all stretch so they're not gonna push Everly or anything like that it's not gonna be uncomfortable but follow my personal Instagram which I will put it on the screen in the middle or on the side yeah probably on the side um, I'm going to that's usually where I upload my outfit of the days or just upload pictures of Team Ontaro which they do have their own Instagram so if you want to check them out too I'll put it down below uh, so you can go follow their Instagram. All right, so me and big boy Timo are about to go to PetSmart. It is currently 150, and it's a good thing that PetSmart. Yeah, keep on going. Good thing PetSmart is literally down the street, and so he's a little hyped up. Uh, with Timo, for some weird reason, he gets super high not like high anxiety or anything but he gets really anxious so he gets super hyped up as you can see like, he haven't went to PetSmart since I think what February of this year Timo are you ready to go get your grooming appointment yeah he starts crying whenever he gets in the car because he doesn't know where he's going he just showered this little boy he is all wet hey hey little baby you squeaky clean so i did drop timo off at his pet smart grooming appointment but i didn't want to hold the <laughs> camera and then have to drag him or bring him into pet smart so I'm home, just showered the baby boy, so he's squeaky clean. I gotta dry him real quick and then probably spend some cuddly time with you. Huh, spend some quality time with you. So yeah, he's soaking wet, I gotta blow dry him and everything. <laughs> Timo just came home. Taro's happy. Timo just came home from his grooming appointment. He's all thirsty. Taro's sniffing his butt. But Timo did really good. The groomer says that she he did really good. Uh, let's see what his report card is. Uh, let's see. Here's your receipt. So she left a little message. Timo did great. Nails did make him a little nervous, but he didn't give too much attitude this time. He loved his bath overall. And thank you for bringing him. See you next time. That's how sweet. So yeah, Timo, you happy? You're home. You're home, handsome. You gonna say hi to YouTube? So we are closing out the vlog. Timo. You guys say bye to the vlog. He got his nails grinded. He had a bath and everything. I may have to de-shed him a little bit more. That's what I mainly needed him to get done. Because I don't have a grinder. And so, Timotano, sit.
Okay, say bye to the vlog. See you next time. See you in the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below if you want to see more of the little boys. And go follow their Instagram. Say bye. Taro, say bye. <laughs> they really want to go outside. Say bye. Timo, say bye.